TV set, stereo tape, air horn, and headlight. You'll find them all and much, much more on Grady Daniels' bike. Well, I've got four headlights on bright and two on deal. We've got a set of parking lights, right and left turn signal, emergency light. We've got brake light, stop light, and back up light, and tail light. I got an AM and F AM Lexus clock radio. Then I got a I got a two-way CV radio, AM. And then I got an AM car radio and a television set. Grady is almost like a modern-day Don Quixote, challenging the windmills of traffic. Of course, he has the equipment. About eight years ago, oh, he boy. first added a little optional <laughs> accessory to his 20-inch bicycle. Then he needed another, and then another. Three years ago, he added the television. Every day, if the weather isn't too bad, Grady Daniel will ride six miles to work and back. Pedaling a bike that weighs over 300 pounds, that's quite a trip. And then there was the time he pedaled to Dalton, Georgia and back on his super bike in one day. Total, 86 miles round trip. When Grady gets the urge to travel, it looks like there's little that can hold him back. His speedometer reads, 25,408 miles. It takes a good 10 minutes of concentrated looking just to find all the goodies Grady has installed. Six sets of headlights, turn signals, air horn. It's a masterpiece of wiring powered by one car battery he keeps in a box under the seat. The TV set is his crowning glory. He gets a pretty good picture. And some of his friends told me that you see Grady riding his bike and sometimes you see him pushing it. When he's pushing, you know he's watching a television show. This is Grady, I'm on my way home. Is this the key? Has Grady Daniels found the answer to the energy problem? Could this be the vehicle of the future? Who knows? But Grady Daniels will tune in tomorrow. In Rome, Georgia, I'm Andy Johnston.